The alarm sounded and the many peoples of the empire sprang to answer the call for service in the cause of liberty and justice. The men from Canada, from New Zealand, from Australia, from South Africa and many others fell in and the empire marches. Ships of the Royal Canadian Navy raced to their war stations to close the gaps through which an enemy might pass and help protect the seas of the Empire. Some ships took their place in northern waters, touching British ports, and sons of the sea from near and far met in the common effort against Nazism. Other men from Canada and Newfoundland began training for what was to prove the most intensive of all wars. The keynote of that training was close cooperation between all services. Troops learned cooperation with airmen, first by instructional classes and later by exercises on the ground and in the air. <laughs> 